When you go 48 hours without food, it also upregulates antioxidants. And it specifically upregulates antioxidants that will slow down the aging process. Do a long fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Dr. Mindy here, and it's Fast Training Week, where we all as a community experiment with different styles of fasting, and this week, we are gonna do the 48-hour fast. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I am a woman on a mission to get a million people fasting. Hopefully, you will find everything you need to know about fasting here on my channel, and if it's not on my, here, please leave me a comment so I can make sure I do a video on it. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And those of you that share these videos and you do Fast Training Week with me, just love being on this journey with you. Okay, here's the deal on Fast Training Week. I like to take five days out of every month with our online community and just play with these principles. There's so many good principles to fasting and there's so many different ways to fast. If you're not familiar with my teachings, I believe in six different length fasts and for a variety of reasons. I've got a new book for women coming out at the end of 2022 called Fast Like a Girl that I will show these six length fasts and have the and show women how to time them for their hormones. So stay tuned for that. It's actually on Amazon now, you can pre-order it. Um, but each one of these fasts has magic to it. And the 48 hour fast, woo, it is one of the most magical and the easiest to attain. So let's break down how you do the 48 hour fast, why you would do it, and then I'm gonna show you the rules for fast training week. So let's go high level here for a moment. There are four different reasons I love the 48 hour fast, and these are all backed by science. We will put the links in the notes so you science hounds can go and find the, the information on it, but here's the four main points to know. First, 48 hours resets dopamine pathways. This is what that looks like. You have a happy thought that comes through because dopamine is that molecule that gives you sort of that elevated, excited moment. Um, it's, it's the molecule of more when you get something you like and then you are like, ooh, that felt really great. Now I want more of it. That's dopamine. And so it resets those pathways. When a, a happy thought comes across a neuronal pathway, it has to jump to another neuron and carry that happy thought. It's a, like a highway. Think of it like a joy highway going on in your brain. But because of toxins, because of poor diet, because of the dopamine saturation that we get in our daily life, this highway gets congested and it is the 48 hour fast that resets it. So think of it like you are in a traffic jam, you are upset, and all of a sudden a police officer comes in and like takes the whole highway and, may, and moves all the traffic out of the way. And now you can go down the highway effortlessly. There's a feeling of joy and excitement that you just did a work around this, this traffic jam. It's the same thing when you go 48 hours. It, uh, decongests the highway of dopamine and all of a sudden the little things in life that may have not been bringing you joy will bring you joy again. I promise, and those of you who've done 48 hour fast, put it in the comments because I've seen so many of you who have showed, have told me that this really rebooted your joy levels. So that's the first thing. Second thing is it creates new dopamine, what we call D2 receptor sites. So you go 48 hours and all of a sudden you create new receptor sites that are going to invite dopamine into the neurons so you can experience joy. This would be like, again, if we go back to the traffic jam, it would be like you all of a sudden getting new exits off this traffic jam into a more free flowing lane. That would bring you joy. I, and if you, you don't live in a traffic filled area, you know how great it is when all of a sudden a traffic jam breaks free, you definitely feel joy. Same thing in the brain, when we open up these receptor sites and we create new ones, now when we get a dopamine response, whether it's from food or whether it's from an interaction with a person or a ding on our phone, we have more receptor sites to pull the dopamine into the neurons and to experience joy. 
So that's the second thing this 48 hour fast does. Okay, third thing, this is one of my favorite. What we see at 48 hours is that the Krebs cycle, which is the cycle within the mitochondria that makes you energy, when you go 48 hours without food, it also upregulates antioxidants. And it specifically upregulates antioxidants that will slow down the aging process. The way we've seen this in our community is that upregulation of antioxidants makes you feel supercharged, gives you energy. So now you're not only getting these dopamine pathways reset, but you're getting a burst of energy. That also can make you happy. And the last thing, and again, another reason this fast works so well is because it upregulates human growth hormone by 500%. Okay, human ho growth hormone is the hormone that helps you burn fat. So when we go into 48 hour fasts, we are not only creating more joy and more dopamine responses, we're not only slowing down the aging process, but we are getting to a place where we can release hormones by a large amount, 500%, that's gonna help us burn fat and help us with weight loss resistance. So those four things alone make this one of my favorite fasts. And if you are stuck in a rut, you're stuck with your, uh, with your weight loss, you're stuck with your mental health, this is the fast to throw at it. Now this is fast training week, so let me give you some rules on how we're going to play with this fast. And if you're new to fast training week, and you, and you don't know that we have a free companion guide that explains everything. So if you need more assistance, just put companion guide in your comments and my team will send you a link to get that free companion guide. But here's, what, here's the rules. I'm gonna go over it really high level and make it quick. It's in more detail in the companion guide. So Fast Training Week is gonna go June 13th through the 17th. We go for five days, Monday on Tuesday, you are going to do the fasting focus is 17 hours. You are gonna food focus on amino acids because you need amino acids to make dopamine, which will give you that mental health edge and that happiness edge. So we can do that by, you, get, you can choose one of two diets. You can choose carnivore only. If you're not familiar with the carnivore diet, it will be listed in the companion guide or you can do a vegetarian diet if you're a vegetarian, but I want you to incorporate some very specific foods. They also are listed in the companion guide, but they're foods like quinoa, hemp seeds, chia seeds. Um, I put a list of several foods in there that I want you to incorporate in. So for Monday and Tuesday, you're going 17 hours, you're choosing the vegetarian amino diet that's in the companion guide or a carnivore diet. Those are your two food choices. Now. On Wednesday and Thursday, we're fasting. Those are the days you're not eating, so you're focused on looking at drinks. What drinks can you have? You can have coffee, you can have tea, you can have mineral water, and of course you can have Element who sponsors our Fast Training Week. So it's a really, really good one for mental health. What, on Thursday night, you're gonna break your fast, but you're gonna break it with broth. If you eat meat, do it with bone broth. You can have as much as you want. If you're a vegetarian, you're gonna do it with a vegetable broth. So you'll break it with broth and then you can have fat that night. You can have avocados, keto cups, nut butters, any fat you want, but that's what you're gonna eat that night. You're not eating any other food. That's what you're gonna to start to warm up and break your fast with after 48 hours. And I'm doing this because I wanna keep that dopamine response going into Friday. And on Friday, we're going into what I call my break fast rules. And that is you're gonna drink broth, you're gonna eat a fat, you're gonna lean into the three Ps, polyphenol, probiotic, and prebiotic foods. You're gonna look at steamed vegetables after that. And then we'll, you move to meat if you eat meat or you'll move to beans at that point. If you're confused, it's all in the companion guide. I just wanted to give you a big overview. And on that day, you fast as much as you want on Friday, whatever feels natural. But the goal, what I love about this Fast Training Week is I'm hoping this will be a go-to resource for you all when you're just stuck 
mentally stuck, physically stuck, this is the routine. Take five days and unstick yourself doing this scenario. So even though we're doing it for Fast Training Week, you now have a resource to do it forever for life. That's the goal of this kind of Fast Training Week. So if, if you've had great success with uh, fasting for mental health, please tell your story in the comments. We are a community. And if you're joining me for Fast Training Week, let me know. Put it in the comments because I'm watching. And if you want the companion guide, just put companion guide and my team will send you a link. As always, I hope that helps.